I'm heavily immersed in using the products as well as the testing phase, starting from the research and development, having our engineers draft up the design, and testing these things outside. And that's actually one of the more rewarding parts of the job for me. The parts I really enjoy is actually using these products out in the field. And, you know, for me, it's also a hobby. So being able to, you know, use the equipment and enjoy it while it's being developed is a huge plus. There's the daytime office job, and then there's the second part of that, or maybe even you might argue is the, the primary part of it, which is being able to validate the performance of a product. Ultimately, you have to get under the stars to do it. You can only do so much in theory, but until you get it under a night sky, that's when you really know what's going on. As many amateur astronomers and imagers will tell you, it's a lot of pain through trial and error, and oftentimes learning the hard way as far as, you know, finding things and methods that work. Uh, that takes time and it takes patience I didn't realize I had, but ultimately you end up gaining some very uh, good knowledge on how to get the results that you want to get, kind of discovering things as you move along through the various broad aspects of the hobby. I'm Brian Cogdell, I Celestron in the Sierra Nevada. Where do you Celestron?